Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying different interview questions on my channel. So, uh, if you have given a Spark uh, streaming related interviews and if you have given Kafka related interviews, you might be aware that uh, uh, difference, it is a very common question that what is difference between consumer and consumer group. If you are aware of Kafka architecture, uh, then it will be very easy for you to answer this question. This comes in a very basic category of questions of for Kafka. Uh, but there can be some situations when people can get confused while answering this question. So as part of this video, I'm going to cover uh, the basics of this concept. I'm going to clearly tell what is the difference between consumer and consumer group. I hope this video will be useful for you. Uh, please share uh, the video with your friends and uh, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, yeah, let us start. Cool. So, so we, this is our normal Kafka setup. We have a producer who is producing lots of messages and based on the partitioning key, it will send messages to different brokers and partitions within that broker. Uh, here in our Kafka cluster, we have two brokers and we have four partitions and uh, uh, based on the partitioning key, every partition is receiving their message. There can be situation that uh, we have only one consumer who is consuming that uh, messages. In that situation, uh, so every consumer is tied to a group. It can, it can happen that uh, there is only one consumer within a group. So that consumer is the only guy who is consuming all the messages from the uh, all the partitions so in this case we are not pr uh, processing the messages in a distributed way uh, we are just con consuming messages from all the partitions and processing it on a single machine but in another situations you may like to do in a distributed way like if you if your spark streaming job is listening to uh, Kafka cluster, then you may like that there are multiple consumers listening to different Kafka uh, uh, partitions and processing your messages in a uh, distributed way. So in that situation, you would like to have multiple consumers. So in this situation, we have a single consumer group and we have two consumers within that group. So each consumer will tie itself to at least one partition and uh, that consumer will only consume messages from the partition. It cannot happen that from a single partition, multiple consumers are consuming the messages. So Spark, uh, sorry, Kafka has tried to keep this part of the architecture very simple because they didn't want it to introduce any kind of locking and uh, you know uh, read lock, write lock kind of a thing. So just to keep the th things simple and avoid locking and synchronization kind of uh, concepts, they have made a rule that from a single partition, only a single consumer will be reading the message. It can happen that one consumer is reading messages from multiple partitions, but reverse doesn't happen that one partition is being read by multiple consumers. So this simplifies our architecture. So I hope this makes things clear for uh, uh, what is the difference between consumer and consumer group. Uh, one consumer group can have multiple consumers. So any consumer can subscribe, can get attached, I would say, to a single partition and consume all the messages that are going to come in that partition. Uh, within a consumer group, a message will be delivered or consumed only once. It can be done by any of the consumer. Uh, if you want to reread the message, you have to use the offset and go back to uh, that message. Uh, but a consumer group is a logical grouping of multiple consumers who try to read messages from different partitions and process the data in a uh, distributed way. So I hope uh, this was clear. If you have any doubts, please post it in the comment section. I will be very happy to answer the questions. Please subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friend. Thank you.